Um, you know, there's that rumor going around about, you know, I don't know if you heard it, but, you know, we all saw your video, the Macho Man. I'm a big WWF fan. I was born in 83, so you already know. Um, anybody born in the 80s love the wrestling. But, uh, hey, man, look, you, look, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this about that yeah. video. So, we the answer, uh WBC um came out and said that they might want me to fight Danny Garcia for the interim title. Y'all already know that, and it was just going all over social media that that fight be might be made. And so my dad said, you know what, we're gonna do some videos letting everybody know that you know Sean is in shape. Sean's been training. He's he's ready for that fight anytime. And we did a whole bunch of videos while I was training that day. I pretty much didn't even train because we was just doing videos. And then my dad left uh, the training facility, and he calls me up, and he says, hey, I want you to do a video speaking directly to Danny, letting him know that you want that fight, and you'll take that fight. I said, all right, cool. So I hung up the phone, and I'm like, man, I sound boring. I, I do interviews all the time. I, I do that kind of stuff all the time. I was born. And out of nowhere, Macho Randy Savage pops into my head. Mind you, I'm not a big WWE fan or nothing like that, but... For some reason, I was like, you know, I want to do something fun. And then, boom, he popped into my head, right? So I'm <laughs> headed home, and I'm like, man, I got to find some, some little things, you know, to put on and, you know, make this go over well. So I had a cowboy hat in my house from Halloween from a few years ago, glasses um, from a little while back, and, and I, I got a whole bunch of leather coats. So I just threw one of them on. I was like, you know what, if I, if I take the shirt off, it, it might look more authentic. I kept trying to pull up a video of Macho talking, and I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find it. Like, and my phone wouldn't, my phone wouldn't play anything. I'm like, dang, what's going on? So I'm like, all right, dude. I had, I had my, my buddy with me. I'm like, all right, man, I'm ready. And he's like, all right, cool. And uh, I'm just standing there. And he's like, you just tell me you want to press record. And I was just kind of playing it in my head for about two minutes. I'm like, all right, I'm ready. Hit record, and he record. And I did what y'all seen on the video was one take, pretty much just off a of memory of what I've seen of Macho, you know. So I'm glad that it went over well. My number one thing with that was just to have fun, and then also yeah. let everybody know that uh, fighting uh, Danny Garcia is something that uh, I want to do. It was great. I'm <laughs> yeah, it was definitely it was definitely great, man. I gotta give you a round of applause for it. But yo, you called Danny a cherry picker. And the rumor is he might fight Brandon Rios. Do you think that's a cherry pick? What do you think of that? If that, you know, say that rumor uh, comes to fruition. Well, here, and then the cherry picker, that came, that came from because I kept seeing that on social media. That's not even a, a term or, or a word I use. Like three years ago when people was calling me that, I'm looking at social media media and I asked my boss, I said, hey, man, what's a cherry picker? He said, come on, SP, you know what that is. I said, I know what it is when you're playing basketball. He said, well, it's the same thing in boxing. He's like, it's just somebody that won't fight nobody. They just always looking for the easy way out, the easy point. I'm like, oh, okay. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, I, at some point, you know, I knew I, I don't really feel like he would fight me right after he fought Keith Thurman anyway. But, you know, some, some guys do want that tune-up. Some guys need the tune-up. And I guess at this point, Brandon Rios is considered a tune-up fight for him. And um, I may, I may, I, I know it's not going to be him that I'm fighting in August, but, you know, like I said, we'll, we'll handle business in August and we'll, we'll try to come after him in December. Yeah, I hope, I, everybody hope that fight get made. I'm pretty sure it's going to get made. If not next, it, it's coming. But because um, you guys, all four of you guys, you know, just throwing it back like the 80s, mixing and matching. But let me ask you this real quick. Is your dad, you know, we love Ken. Is he ready for that Angel Garcia work? Because that will be fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, listen. Um, I'm I'm already I'm already under the understanding that uh, it, this fight gets made with Danny Garcia. They they're gonna have to do something with Angel um, to to police this thing because um, you know, like me and my dad are the same. You know, I, I'm a, you know I'm a little bit different from my dad. You know, I can talk shit and have fun and everything, but but I don't really care to. You know, I would rather get in the ring and do my thing. My dad don't want to talk at all. You know, if you if you talking crazy, you talking about hurting me or, or hurting him or anything like that, he ready to to uh to, to throw them blows, you know. So I'm I'm already under the understanding that if this fight goes down, they they're gonna have to have separate uh interviews and separate press conferences and all that kind of stuff 'cause that that's something that will get out of line. Um and then you you'll have to you'll have to see uh 
the respect that Angel gives my dad as well. Um, it, it's, it's he's always giving my dad respect and vice versa. Um, so we'll see how how it handles uh, how it takes place uh, once this fight gets made.